So 46 Pages put out a design challenge the other day, and I thought it'd be fun to participate. So if you don't know, 46 Pages is a magazine, as well as a page on Instagram that showcases a lot of graphic design work. Albeit, a lot of the stuff that they post is more on the grunge and experimental side of things rather than something that you would typically see from a graphic design page like logos and type and websites. And that's what makes these challenges fun because there's not really a boundary you can break or a set of rules that you have to like kind of stick in between. But graphically, we can pretty much do whatever we want. We can push things as far as we want to go. We can go as crazy as we want to go and we're not gonna be breaking any rules by doing so. So for this challenge, the main theme is the band Nine Inch Nails, which I had thought I had listened to the band before today. Whenever I went to go listen to their music just to kind of prepare for this project, I was like, yep, never heard this before. So needless to say, I don't know much about the band, but I do think it's still gonna be fun to kind of take what little I do know about the band and interpret it into some kind of design. So before we jump into Photoshop to get designing, let me go over the rules. It must be in a one by one square format. It must have 46 pages written on it. It must have magazine with a graphic heart included on it. It must have number two written on it. And of course, we send it around nine inch nails. So other than those few requirements, we're free to do as we please. So let's get started. So going into this design, I already had something in mind that I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to incorporate something to do with nails, but I didn't want to make it too obvious where it's like, oh, here's a couple nails on the image or something like that. I wanted to do something a little bit less on the nose. And so the idea that I had was to take a hand and then edit it so it looked like a bunch of nails were going through the hand. And I thought once I had all the nails in there, I could put it all together using one of the filter gallery effects. So I just spent some time putting everything together, trying out the effect, but once I tried out the effect, it just didn't look quite how I wanted it to. And so I opted out of that, and so I just spent a little bit more time trying to kind of perfect the look of the nails being in the hand so it looked a little bit more realistic than what I had before. If I was gonna use the effect, I wouldn't really have to worry about it too much, but since I didn't use the effect, I had to spend more time to make it look realistic so that way the nails in the hand didn't stand out too much from each other. And then once I had those in place, it still felt a little bit empty. But while I was looking for images to use in this project, I found this image of these barbed wire looking stuff kind of like emanating from this one point. So whenever I saw that, so whenever I saw the picture again in my asset folder, I thought it would go perfectly with the idea that I already had, so I would just edit it so it looks like the barbed wire is coming out of the hand, which I had to spend some time tweaking it and editing it so it looked good, but the final result actually came out looking really cool. I think it definitely helped sell the idea that I was already going for, and it also helped make the nails look a little bit less inconspicuous, so that way it wasn't drawing too much attention to itself, but it was still there, and just helped bring everything together in a way that wasn't too obvious. Now my first idea was just to keep the hand on the left and then do something on the right, but I thought it might be cool if I shifted it out a little bit and then put another section going up on the left side where the hand was being cut off. And so I just started to kind of play around with some textures in that area, just to kind of see what I could come up with. I didn't really like any of the textures, it just didn't seem right to me. So then I just moved on to adding in the title of the magazine, as well as the other information that I'm required to put in for this magazine cover. And honestly, this is where I spent most of my time on this project. Just fiddling around with different arrangements, as well as different textures and pictures, just to see what I could come up with. Well, I think some of the ideas that I came up with were pretty cool, I really struggled to get something that I felt really happy and content with. I feel like I was trying every single thing I could possibly think of and just nothing was clicking for me. So I really just put a lot of time into coming up with a bunch of different variations and trying different things out, whatever came to my head, because I just wanted to land on something that I felt really happy with and just nothing made me happy. So eventually I moved on to moving some of the information to the right side of the page where it was a little bit more empty and I thought that was a little bit better than what I had been doing before, but it still just didn't feel quite right. And so after spending over an hour on this project, and most of it just being dedicated to the title and things like that, I knew I needed to step away from this project, give it a break, and come back to it with fresh eyes and new ideas. That's more or less where I left off last night, but I did end up coming back to it about an hour or two later. So I did something that I probably shouldn't have done, which is gone back to editing, after I stopped recording. Because where I left off, I wasn't quite happy with, and I thought, oh, I'll just jump in, I'll make some quick adjustments just to see if I can get a new direction and then I'll start recording again. But instead of just making some slight edits and then starting to record again, I just finished it. I just kept going. And while I wouldn't say that the end result is completely different than what I was working on before, it is a little bit different. But anyways, here's where we ended up. 
So what I ended up doing is just moving the hand back to its original position, coming out of the left side of the frame, and then I moved the part of the frame that I was trying to make work with that little band on the left side, I moved it to the right. So instead of putting all the information in, in that one section, like the magazine title and the number and the Nine Inch Nails logo, I ended up putting that all over on the right, but a lot of it actually extends from the actual image into that section. One of the things that I didn't really care for in what I was making before was that everything just felt so sectioned off. And so it just felt like, oh, here's the imagery that I was working on, and here's the title and the magazine tagline and the number. And I just didn't really like that it didn't really feel conjoined and part of one singular image. But in this scenario, it feels a lot more cohesive and together rather than separate, which I think I like more. I also found this weird painted out of focus photography that I thought was really cool. And it also kind of paid a homage to one of the nine inch covers. And in the same vein, the way that I positioned the nine inch nails logo also pays a homage to that exact same cover art. But I'm hoping that it's different enough that it can still feel like its own thing, but it still acknowledges the fact that the inspiration is coming from something. So anyways, let me know what you thought about this cover. Did I do a good job? Should I have tried something differently? Was the other versions that I was working on earlier better than the one that I ended up with? Whatever your thoughts, put them in the comments below. Let's have a conversation about it. And at the beginning of the video, I also forgot to say, go check out 46 Pages. I'll leave a link to their Instagram page in the description so you can check it out. Honestly, they showcase a lot of great work and they seem like really great people from what I've experienced. So if you're into this kind of design, really, you can't go wrong with checking them out. But if you found this video helpful or entertaining, I'd appreciate it if you would check out the rest of my channel and then consider subscribing. I hope to see you in the next video.